Hello, my dear students, and welcome to today's lesson. 1. Reading Space Tourism Part 2 Exercise C, D, and E 2. Vocabulary For Grade 9, Module 6, Lesson C, Students' Book Pages 66 and 67 Let's get started. Let's start with the learning objectives. Students will be able to 1. Decide if the statements are true or false after scanning the text. 2. Find out 10 synonyms after reading the text about space tourism. 3. Use 9 prepositional phrases in meaningful sentences. Now open your student's book page 66, exercise C. Here we are going to decide if the statements are true or false after scanning the text. Now scan the text, then read it carefully and write T for true or F for false. As you see here, we have seven statements and we are going to decide if they are true or false after scanning the text. Now, pause the video, read these statements, then scan the text. Now, let's read the text and you can follow the speaker. 6C 1. Read Space Tourism is it a distant dream for the very wealthy or something that we will all be able to enjoy in the future? We were able to interview a representative from Explore Space, Jeff Hilburn, and get some answers. 1. There are basically two types of space tourism, orbital and suborbital. But at present, only orbital is available. Russian space companies offer individuals the opportunity to travel on one of their spacecraft for up to two weeks in orbit around the Earth. Suborbital flights will be available soon and will take space tourists directly outside the Earth's atmosphere, where they will stay for 10 minutes or so. 2. For two reasons. A spectacular view and zero gravity. Looking down on our beautiful blue planet from space is a sight that only few people have ever witnessed. Also, imagine looking out into space where the stars are closer and brighter than when you're on Earth. It's something the majority of people want to experience, along with weightlessness. Floating around is simply fun. 3. Well, they certainly don't need to be professional astronauts. However, both types of space tourism require training. For orbital space flight, space tourists need at least six months, and for suborbital, no more than a week. Also, space travelers will need to have medical checkups. 4. It's for those who can afford it. At the moment, orbital space tourism costs over £20 million for a two week experience and only one tourist is able to travel with the Russian team every year. When the suborbital flights become available, they will cost about £150,000. Some space tourism companies hope that they will be able to lower the price to £100,000. 5. Space travel has come a long way and technology has improved, so I believe it is safe enough to introduce to the public. However, it is not without risk. People who are eager to find out what it's like in space don't mind taking that risk. For them, it's a dream come true. Let's explain the difference between orbital and suborbital space tourism. Look at this picture. Orbital takes further distance into the space, as you see here in the picture, while suborbital 
just goes outside the Earth's atmosphere. Also, it doesn't complete a full orbit of the Earth. Now let's check your answers. Number one. One of the differences between orbital and suborbital space tourism is how long they last. Is it true or false? Very good, my students. It's true. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? Very good, my students. Number two. The stars seem different when you look at them from space. Is this statement true or false? Great job, my students. It's true. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? That's right. It's here in the second paragraph. Number three. Suborbital space tourism will require one week to six months of training. Is it true or false? Very good, my students. It's false. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? Well done, my students. It's in paragraph number three. Here. Suborbital, no more than a week. Number four. It is necessary for someone to have good health and quite a lot of money to be a space tourist. Is it true or false? That's right. It's true. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? Very good, my students. It's in paragraph four here. It's for those who can afford it. Well done, my students. Number five. Russia offers one orbital trip a year to a member of the public. Is it true or false? Well done, my students. It's true. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? Very good, my students. It's in paragraph four, here. Well done, my students. Number six. Space tourism companies are hoping that orbital flights will soon cost 100,000 pounds. Is it true or false? That's right. It's false. Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? Very good, my students. It's in paragraph four. And here is the justification. Well done, my students. The last one, number seven. Jeff Hilburn believes that space travel has made great progress, but should only be available to astronauts. Is it true or false? Well done, my students. It's false. Why? Can you find a clue in the text to justify your answer? That's right. It's in paragraph five. And here is the justification. Well done, my students. Now let's move to exercise D in the student's book, page 66. Here we are going to find out 10 synonyms after reading the text. Find words or phrases in the text that mean 
the same as the following as you see here we have 10 meanings or definitions we are going to find their synonyms in the text now pause the video read these meanings or definitions then read the text to find their synonyms let's check your answers number one chance in paragraph number one excellent my students opportunity number two very impressive or breathtaking in paragraph two very good my students spectacular three the largest part of a group it's in paragraph two very good my students majority number four to move slowly in the air in paragraph two that's right float five to need something in paragraph three require number six to have enough money to pay for something in paragraph four that's right afford it's here number seven to make a progress in paragraph five very good my students come a long way or improve eight all ordinary people in paragraph five that's right the public nine very interested and wanting very much to do something in paragraph five excellent my students eager and the last one 10 the possibility of something bad happening in paragraph five that's right risk well done my students okay guys now let's move to exercise e in the students book page 66 and this is a post reading activity discuss do you think space tourism is worth the money why or why not now pause the video think then answer let's check your answers here I have some suggested answers for you you can compare them with your answers now open your residence book page 67 to vocabulary here we are going to use nine prepositional phrases in meaningful sentences complete the sentences with the phrases in the box as you see here we have prepositional phrases we are going to complete them here in these sentences now let's explain the meaning of these prepositional phrases before we start completing them in the sentences 
at the beginning of or at the end of means the time when something begins or ends in the beginning means at first in the end means finally at the latest means not later than a particular time at least means no less than the minimum that could be done at the moment or at present means now at first means initially at last means finally at once means immediately without any delay now pause the video read the sentences then complete them with the phrases in the box let's check your answers well done my students okay my students this is the end of our lesson today thank you for watching and goodbye